over the last few months uh, or maybe as long as a year or two uh, uh, the world of Bible prophecy has been focusing upon the Arab Spring and also uh, the possibility that uh, Israel could attack Iran and uh, for good reason because the Bible is clear that uh, Bible prophecy begins in the Middle East and uh, in and around Israel and Jerusalem but you know there's something else in the news that I think should also be noteworthy and should be considered in prophetic circles and that is uh, there is uh, a rumor going around in fact I guess it's more than just a rumor but uh, that last week I reported this earlier the uh, US government secretly directed five big banks so the biggest banks in America to develop a plan for staving off collapse um, that kind of went uh, for the most part went under the radar in the prophetic world but uh, you know I really believe that as time goes on that uh, this collapse that I believe is coming uh, it may not be a complete collapse but it may be in fact we may get to the very edge of collapse but I believe it's coming and it's it, and we got nowhere to go but down unfortunately uh, but I believe that this collapse is probably going to be one of the catalysts that bring about uh, the Antichrist and his new world system uh, you know a lot of people uh, know about uh, the mark of the Antichrist but there's a reason behind why this mark may very well be necessary other than the fact that uh, he will cause everyone to buy and sell under this mark and without it you can't you won't be able to do business nor survive for that matter uh, and that will come in about the middle of the tribulation period but you know you should maybe take consideration that at some point in time uh, the global economy very well may be on the verge of collapse and a new system very well may be necessary here's here, so on that vein on that uh, topic uh, I, I've uh, ran across an article it's, uh, it's the topic is uh, are the government and the big banks quietly preparing for an imminent collapse, financial collapse and it starts it says Something really strange appears to be happening all over the globe. Governments and big banks are acting as if they are anticipating an, an, an imminent financial collapse. Unfortunately, we are not privy to the quiet conversations that are taking place in corporate boardrooms and in the halls of power in places such as Washington, D.C. and London. So all we can do is try to make sense of all the uh, clues that are all around us. Of course, it's completely possible to misinterpret these clues, but sticking our heads in the sand is not going to do anything or any good either. Last week, it was revealed that the U.S. government has been secretly directing five of the biggest banks in America to develop plans for staving off collapse for the next or for the last two years. Uh, by itself, that wouldn't be the, that big of a deal. But when you add that piece to the dozens of other clues of imminent collapse, a financial collapse, a very troubling picture begins to emerge. Over the past 12 months, hundreds of banking executives have been resigning, corporate insiders have been selling off enormous amounts of stock, and I have been personally, and that would be the author of this article, told that a significant number of Wall Street bankers have been shopping for prepper properties in rural communities this summer. Meanwhile, there have been reports that the U.S. government has been stockpiling food and ammunition, and Barack Obama has been signing a whole bunch of executive orders that would potentially be implemented in the event of a major meltdown in society. So if you haven't heard, uh, a number of uh, government agencies have been buying a tremendous amount of, of ammo over the last few months and it says in, in an article that, uh, that is in regard to this it says first it was the Department of Homeland Security then it was the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and now the Social Security Administration is set to purchase 174,000 rounds of hollow point bullets that will be delivered to 41 locations across the country of course, nobody really knows why this ammo is being purchased by these uh, uh, organizations. In fact, uh, you know, who's to say it's not a normal uh, occurrence uh, throughout the government? I don't know what the case is. Uh, I haven't done complete research on this. If somebody knows, uh, uh, send me an email or whatever the case may be. But the bottom line is, is that these purchases are being made. And for what reason? Uh, at this point, I don't know. 
is it in the event of a uh, of an economic collapse uh, in the United States? Uh, who knows? Uh, all I'm doing is reporting this. But going on with this article, uh, it says, uh, what, uh, so what does all this mean? It could mean something or it could mean nothing. What we do know is that a financial collapse is coming at some point. Over the past 40 years, the total amount of all debt in the United States has grown from about $2 trillion to nearly $55 trillion. And that, that is a re recipe for financial Armageddon. And it is inevitable that this gigantic bubble of debt is going to burst at some point. Now, of course, most of us know that uh, the national debt is somewhere around $15 trillion. I'm sure they're talking about all uh, debt included, both domestic and uh, government. In normal times, the U.S. government does not tell major banks to develop plans of staving off collapse. The situation in Europe continues to get worse and worse. The authorities in Europe have come out with uh, solution after solution, and yet unemployment continues to skyrocket. And un uh, economic conditions in the EU have deteriorated very steadily over the past 12 months. If all that uh, wasn't bad enough, there is a, there are increasing a uh, number of indications that Germany is actually considering leaving the Europe. Now, don't just, uh, not just uh, Germany, but Britain and a number of other countries are also on that bandwagon to uh, possibly leave the Euro. But needless to say, that would be a complete and total disaster for the rest of the Eurozone. Of course, there are any number of ways that the financial crisis in Europe could potentially play out. But virtually all of the realistic scenarios would be very bad for the global economy. Meanwhile, our resources are dwindling, war in the Middle East could erupt at any moment, and our planet is becoming increasingly unstable. It is almost as if a perfect storm is beginning to brew. Of course, the historic drought that is ravaging food production in the United States this summer is not helping matters either. Another summer or two like this, uh, and we could be looking at the return of Dust Bowl conditions. Anyone that is watching what is going on in the world and is not concerned at all about what is happening is simply being delusional. Now, I will say the article that I just uh, read uh, did come from more or less a uh, uh, sensationalist type uh, website, but somewhat prominent one at that. But frankly, it wouldn't shock me a bit if we are headed for, for a perfect storm type scenario. And all because I believe that's actually what is going to take place once the rapture of the church takes place I believe that the world is going to go into a dire panic uh, fear basically drives a poor economy from recession to, to depression you know and when uh, right now we are in recessionary uh, in somewhat of a recessionary cycle globally and when the when the uh, um, or the rapture of the church takes place you're going to see that recessionary cycle go into a depressionary cycle and the bottom line is is that uh, we are going to be on the verge of collapse I believe anyway and when I say we I mean the global economy and I truly believe that it's going to take a superhuman man known as the Antichrist to come forward to bring us out of a downward spiral in time he will introduce a new world system and a new banking system but the catch will be that you will have to worship him and at the same time you won't be able to buy or sell without taking hold of this uh, economic uh, system that he will bring forth and when he brings it forth he's gonna it's gonna come forth with uh, a lot of delusional uh, tactics and uh, in fact the Bible says that the uh, false prophets will be, will be his assistant. We'll cause the statue to speak. He'll bring lightning down from heaven, and uh, he'll do mighty miracles. And people will actually believe what he's doing, and, and, and they will worship the Antichrist. This is going to be a time unlike any other time the world has ever known. Don't for one minute believe or think that this world is going to be the same minus Christians or the Christian influence. It's not going to be. It's, it will be minus the Christians, but the bottom line is, or should I say, it will be minus the Christian influence. But this will be a very, very dark uh, time in human history. So dark and so horrible but the, that the Bible says that God will shorten the days uh, or no flesh would survive. 
Now you can interpret that any way you want, but the bottom line I believe is is that this is going to be a horrible, horrible time that I don't believe that too many people would be able to even uh, endure if not for the grace of God. Now of course I've written a tribulation period survival guide and I truly hope that you will share this with your lost friends and loved ones because it very well could save their life someday. It is a free book and it's downloadable if you see the uh, uh, little icon at the very top of this video to the left uh, just push on that and uh, you will be able to get that free copy but I encourage everyone uh, to send this copy or send a copy of this to uh, uh, their lost loved ones they may delete it or they may whatever the case may be but the truth of the matter is, is once it's in their mind they're never gonna forget it and when the time comes they're gonna remember that tribulation period survival guide uh, download link that uh, you uh, sent them and if uh, by chance they have lost it or misplaced it or whatever the case may be or it's been long gone uh, I'm probably the first 10 12 if you look up tribulation period survival guide I probably have the first 10 or 12 links under this particular topic so if you look up tribulation period survival guide you're definitely gonna find this book I don't think that'd be a problem so uh, you know send it to your friends uh, I, you know I think that uh, at some point in time they Again, it's not something they're going to use right now, probably. But when the time comes, this book will come back to their memory, I guarantee it. You know, it's written in Spanish, and it's also written in uh, Mandarin Chinese. The potential audience for this book is 2 billion people. And I want to uh, send out a thank you to those who freely gave of their time in order to translate this book, edit it, or whatever the case may be. Uh, the creation of the uh, title page and the cover uh, all of these people did this free of charge and they did it because they want to see people saved not just now when they're here on earth but once the rapture takes place uh, this book will be readily available to billions of people here on earth and like I said it has uh, the potential of reaching two billion people for Christ during this time uh, so they're gonna have an impact once uh, they leave this earth so, uh, I, like I said, I want to thank you. And they did it because, like I said, they want to see people get saved. And you know what? That's the message I want to leave you with. You know, everyone uh, is going to have to die one day. At some point in time, you're going to die. Unless you go in the rapture, you are going to die. And when you die, you're going to face God. And when you face God, what will be your final destination? Because when you face God, there's only one or two places you can go, either heaven or hell. Uh, there is no in between. There's no purgatory. There's uh, no waiting place. There's no second chance. Uh, you're either going to go to heaven, you're going to go to hell. And that decision had to have been made while you were here on earth. And the unfortunate thing about this whole situation is that if you die and go to hell, you did it with your sins paid for. Don't let that happen to you. Accept Jesus as Savior today. Repent of your sins and believe that He is the Son of God and that He died for the sins of the world and uh, your sins as well. Uh, and begin to live for Him. That's the only way. There's no certain prayer. I'm not going to lead you in any, any type of prayer. Just say, Jesus, I know that you're the Savior of the world. You died for my sins. And I repent, and from this day forward, I'm going to live for you. And that's really, you know, it's a heart situation. It's not a, it's not a, a, a recited prayer or whatever the case may be. And all, you just need to say from your heart, Lord, I'm going to live for you from this day forward. Uh, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.